Yusuf Zalal back here on the program is going to be taking on Matt Jones at LFA 65 on March, on May 3rd, I should say, not March. Uh, Yusuf, how are you, man? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, man. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Uh, where are you coming from? I guess uh, coming back from practice or uh, where were you headed to? Yeah, I just did my uh, morning practice, a uh, little MMA, and then I come back in a few hours uh, do uh, the striking uh, tonight. Good stuff. Well, thanks for having me part of your in-between, as they say, uh, in the fight business. That's uh, that's great. Hey, I, I got to mention to our listeners, I actually got to meet you at UFC 235, which was awesome. I know you were there uh, supporting Anthony Smith. Uh, how was that whole experience getting to go down to Vegas, cheer on Anthony Smith, and uh, experience Vegas? Man, it was awesome, man. He was like, you know, I got uh, I took my wife first time to Vegas, so that was uh, that was fun for her. So it was both of us kind of more of experience for me. I've been in Vegas before, and I've been in the corner before, so I was kind of experience in the biggest stage, you know, world title and support my teammates, you know, have dinners with them after after the weigh ins and all that. So that was that was an awesome experience, you know, it's always to have that energy around and it kinda of motivates you more to for your for your family in life, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I totally get that. Um, you were supposed to fight uh, last month at, on that M C F seventeen card. Uh, what happened? Why didn't that take place? Ah, uh, so they called me on Thursday, the week before the fight, and they were like Oh, your guy has mono. He's out. And I'm like, what is? I didn't even know what mono was, and so they had to explain it to me. So I'm like, they were like, you don't want to fight that guy, and I'm like, all right. So I guess they couldn't find me an opponent, and I know I'm so used to it, not getting, not finding opponents, and all this, opponents changing the day of, a few days before. So I'm like, okay, they're gonna find me an opponent, but I went there, not, no opponent or nothing. So I just can't, went there and uh, cornered my coached my my uh teammates and cornered them and we just made a day out of it to be honest okay well that's good you got rebooked pretty quickly here for lfa uh before we talk about this fight uh, your last fight i know uh, things didn't go your way against one against uh chepe marscal uh what did you take away from that performance that you can bring into this fight man it, it took a lot it took a lot of, of uh knowing a lot of things like you know don't get comfortable in in certain areas you know even if you think you're good at it you know just to do you. That's that's kind of a big thing I learned that. And, and you're taking on Matt Jones here, a 10-fight veteran. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? I know he trains with Chepe. That's all I know. I mean, he's he's a great matchup for me. You know, he's, he's a pretty pretty little awkward striker and a little uh, pretty good in the ground. So it's going to be a, a very good test for me. And that's what, exactly what I want. You know, I want, especially after the Chepe's fight, I really want that level of, of a push and that level of going and staying ready. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I agree with you there. Um, how about training camp? One of the benefits you have for this card is your teammate Brandon Royville's headlining the card. Um, you know, how, how good is it to have a couple teammates fighting around the same time? Man, again, when I was fighting the last LFA, we had eight, nine team, uh, eight teammates. That was a, uh, that was, that was a lot. I'm not, I'm not used to that, to be honest. I'll tell you that. So that was kind of like a lot on me. But I mean, I'm pretty excited, man. Last, it's exactly like uh, last year I fight in May. It was on Velcard in May. I fought, again, they switched an opponent on me the week up in LFA. And then I had, I think I had three teammates on that card. It was Brandon, Carmen, Ian Heinish won by a uh, knockout. Uh, I can't remember who he beat. That was a fun night. That was an, an exciting, awesome night. So I, I like more, like three or four fine, but I'll get, I'll get a little crazy when it goes to eight and seven and all this goes in, you know what I mean? Who have been some of your main training partners for this camp? Oh, man, I don't know if you looked at uh, the pictures. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm training with Devontae Smith. He's a UFC guy. Chris Gutierrez. I'm training with all these guys. I'm, I, can't, I can't even name them enough. It's like so many people in there. So I'm definitely getting more, especially now. We have Joe Warren teaching our classes and stuff like that. So it's all mixed up for me right now, and I'm – blessed to have all that around me and the team is getting bigger and uh the goals are getting bigger and then the 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 iq is getting bigger yeah and and one of the things i heard that you guys are you know you guys are friends outside of uh you know uh training and everything like that but i hear you guys get really competitive when it comes to uh you know the training camps and stuff like that like you'll have those moments where you guys you know really go at it but after it you guys are cool um how how is that you know because I, I know there's a camaraderie there but also a lot of competitiveness too oh yeah man it's i feel like if uh, every every gym has that, you know, it's it's you gotta be you gotta either beat each other up or 
push each other to the to the next thing. So uh, I feel like a lot of guys will do that, you know. Like I'm like, oh, you got me with that one. Okay, cool. Next day I'll come in. I'll, I'm trying to get him. Now I'm trying to beat him or something like that. So it's always pushing each other up and up and up more. So it makes us better than than who we are, you know. And uh, what about the weight cut? How's that going ahead of this fight? Man, diet is on point, and that's why I kind of I kind of feel like I I messed up with the last fight. Kind of like I don't have to cut that much weight, so I'm kind of like. I was slacking on it, you know what I mean? But right now, I'm 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 staying on a straight, healthy diet, you know, doing my thing. Even if, not, if I'm light, I'm still doing I'm chasing performance, not, not like, you know, easy wake up. Like, I, that's easy. I'm not worried about that. But I'm trying to keep it for the fight day. Well, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, I think Devontae Smith, Mark Montoya, and uh, Mario Correa. That's good. Devontae's going to return the favor because I know you're always in his corner for for fights. It seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the one thing we did about. We were like, we were like, oh, okay. So I was like, if you go to Australia with me, you got to put me in your corner. I was like, okay, I got you. I'll put you in your. I'll put you in my corner. And how do you see this fight playing out? Are we going to see another finish? Ah uh, man, like again, I'm 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 really just I'm just excited to go show what I really wanted to show the last fight. That's that's all I care about. You know, I was like I. I know he's gonna come off, uh, come off hard and strong, and whatever he comes off with, I, it, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm just so ready for this fight, and I can't wait to have this fight uh, done. And if I heard you, you know, correctly from some of the interviews we've done, the plan is to just stay with LFA because I know there could be an opportunity for you to go on contender series, but you're pretty content building your resume in LFA, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I was trying to fight in March for LFA, they just couldn't find me a fight. You know, it's like, like I was like, I was ready to fight. Uh, uh, I think it was Jeff Hefferman. Nate Jennerman. Nasty Nate. That's who Nate Jennerman. There we go. He turned me down. That was right after my fight. They, I'm always back to back. That's the weirdest part about it. It's like they always find me fights every six weeks or five weeks. I'm always back to back. So I was like, well, whatever. Like, let's do it. Let's fight in March. Cool. Whatever. In Texas, whatever. I'm, di- I'm ready. Let's do it. And then they turned me down and Barry couldn't find me a fight and this and that. So I'm like, whatever. So we're trying to go to Nebraska. That went off, and then LFA came up in Maine here, so we had to take it. Yusuf, always appreciate you taking the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Man, thank you for having me, and again, I appreciate it. It's always fun having you. Uh, yeah, you guys can follow me at the Instagram, at the Moroccan Devil, uh, Twitter at Moroccan slash, uh, Moroccan Devil slash 45, and then uh, Facebook, this is the law. Sponsors, you know, I got I got Receptra, I got iTypical, Comics from Peanut Gallery, Denver Chiropractor, Lockton, all these guys, man. They, I got a new sponsor, Kelsey, for from Massage. They've been they've been helping me so much for this camp and last camps, you know. So I'm I'm grateful for those guys.